Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to take. So tell me a little bit about the Dutch oven and why it was so important for you to have this as part of your exclusive brand. I should mention to everyone, um, people have been asking you about cookware and pieces. These are all right. exclusive to HSN. They are. They are. This is my first uh, uh, sort of into really uh, working with some, collaborating with somebody on creating things that I all these years Love. learned, loved in the kitchen. I love that. And you know, uh, as far as, even when you first get married, the question that I get, all you need is one of these Dutch ovens and one of these And skillets. you can feed your family. You absolutely. <laughs> so in this Dutch ovens, you can do a thousand and one things. First of all, we're gonna do some spaghetti and meatballs. I have the, the spaghetti, the sauce and the meatballs there. We're gonna put some pasta to cook right away. And when you cook pasta, salted water, that's salted water, and just sort of slide the pasta right in. Let it slide in, no oil. None of that, just the, the pasta. No and oil. The, no. And I've been the, doing it wrong. <laughs> yes, you have. I have. But let me ask you to say the, the peach, day. the peaches and cream, amazing. Yes, yes. Absolutely and amazing. Simple. Just bake in the oven. I know, you but can it's make so delicious. For breakfast, for uh, dessert, oh, wow. whatever. Okay. So the pasta is cooking. And let me put the lid on. You know, this lid, I have to talk about this lid. You see, it's risen, so, and it's glass reinforced glass. So you and can it's look clear. It, and it's clear, you can see. But even the handle, you see the handle here, this is stainless. It is an empty sort of uh, uh, knob, so it doesn't retain heat. Mm -hmm. And there's this uh, sort of a separation so that the heat doesn't travel from here onto the handle. You know, those handles, sometimes you get hot. Sure. And, and of course, my, my handles on the side here that I, so I can lift this. You know, I'm in the kitchen all the time, and uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you, you sort of wait. And this is, this while that's cooking, I made a risotto for you. Oh, that this looks amazing. This is great, because for a risotto, you need a dance. Now, this is cast iron. We all love cast iron. I love cast iron. My grandmother cooked her polenta in the cast yes, iron. Yes. But it was heavy. You needed to uh, seal, uh, seal it. Yes. You need to wash it after you're finished. No, no dishwasher. This is safe oven. Dishwasher, nonstick, exactly. Yeah, nonstick, and it's lighter, right? It's a little, it's a little over it's eight, a, it's a little, a, yeah, almost what eighteen, a little over eighteen percent lighter, which I, exactly, which I love exactly. that. I can appreciate that big, as well. Big handles and the enamel on the side. These beautiful colors, they look beautiful. In yes, the kitchen, they do. But they're easier to clean. Yeah. So let me finish the risotto. I'm gonna mantecare the risotto. What does mantecare mean? Here I'm gonna put just some some. A fennel fonds because I did put some fennel onions in the risotto. Just a little bit of hot stock or even water. A little bit of parsley. And you know what it is to mantecare risotto is the last step. And the last step is you add in it a few dabs of butter because there's not much oil. The oil just goes in the beginning. And this is the mantecare. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven right now. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I, I just have to put that out okay, there. Okay, and <laughs> do you, li you like cheese? I do. Okay. You have no idea how, how I've watched your show and like wished I was one of your children or grandchildren, right? So here we are. Yeah, no, here we are. So tell me a little bit about when do you, because, you know, when I look at this five quart, and whether it's pasta or something, you know, savory like we're doing and or something sweet that you're going to show us in a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your life. I know that you are busy with your television show. Uh, you're, you're on your what, 13th? The, rest the, the rest restaurant. You're on your 13th or 14th cookbook. Right. You're busy, but what but, are those moments that you cherish with your let family? Me let me share something with you. You know, it's I'm busy, but it's uh, my family that collaborates with me. It's all the people that collaborate. It's not a solitary trip, this. Yeah. You know, I had yeah. a lot of people along the way that helped me. But basically is for, for my family and my workers. My workers, which become kind of a family, you yeah, know? of course. Absolutely. So here is... The risotto. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. It okay. smells divine, And I'm gonna by the pour way. this risotto right into that bowl. Now, the, when you have a bowl like that, you keep it close to the, it's a little warm, so it's not too cold, okay? Oh, that's a good tip. 
Yeah, that's good. And by the way, this larger bowl is available. And so you are able to, to find that on our website and we'll mention that to you. If you would like to shop with us for the five quart stock pot, it comes in red, cobalt, blue, and black. Look. Wow. Look how clean. And let's all you just have to show just do, that. Yeah, just clean. All you have to, let's see, even shaking it, you'll get most of it out. Yeah, that's perfect. How, how do you like that? And but this, we could literally like take a washcloth, right? And just wipe it, wipe it right out. Absolutely. Yeah. You want and me I to think do that's, it? that's what's so, I'll do it, I don't mind. And I think that's what's so wonderful about the cookware, right? Is that it's nonstick. And it's so easy. You could literally look at this, guys. You literally just wipe that clean, and yes, and yes, and you, no, yeah, perfect. You can go on to the next whatever you want yeah, to do with it. Yeah. Okay, which is perfect. So. And I like the five quart too. You might not always be doing family style meals. Sometimes it's a family of two, but we we like to say cook once, eat two or three times. So am I to feed you? Every course, or do you want to skip one and now and then? Um, I'm not interested in skipping anything, <laughs> but I'll let you be the judge of it. <laughs> okay. Let, let but thank me. you for so being so kind. <laughs> I would like to try a little bit of everything, if okay. you don't mind, right? So that's and so chocolate. I think for so many people, let's talk about this risotto, because I think this is an opportunity for all of us to learn. You gave us a good tip about the pasta, no oil. What are the biggest mistakes that people make when they're making their risotto? Okay, risotto, one cup of rice, two cups of, uh, you're looking for a fork. I yeah, can see yeah. a desperate I think, look here. Yeah, you did it. I'll use my, I'll use my spoon for oh, my here peach. It is. Look at this, right in front of you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so one cup of rice makes two cups of risotto and it takes three cups of liquid to get there. So that's a good thing to remember. The risotto never over Water, it's slowly adding water. And that's that's what I saw you did, yeah. just yeah. Oh, slowly. Water or stock. Stock is better, but water is fine if you don't. Okay. And always, this, mm. whatever you, the liquid that you add needs to be at the same temperatures that you're cooking. Because oh, you that's a good tip. You don't want to stop the, the temperature. Okay, so the pasta is cooking, and I am going to put a little bit of sauce right in the... Oh. There we go. Because uh, the pasta, I, I usually cook it al dente. So here I have my meatball. I mean, this pan, you know when you cook sauce? Yes. This, they're so wonderful, this Dutch oven. You can make full, it, the temperature is even all around. You have the, the lid slowly so you can cover it, uncover it and mix it. And you don't have to be afraid that it sticks to the bottom. And one of know? the nice things about the five quart is that obviously on any stove top, but both the lid and the, the Dutch oven are oven safe to 500 degrees. Yeah. We don't usually talk about temperatures like that, but that's why you really love the cast iron because it can hold those high temperatures. Well, temperatures are so important in cooking, you know, when you searing, when you want a certain uh, finish to your, right. to your proteins, temperatures is important. Temperatures is important when you are cooking that it's even all over uh, that it's the water doesn't the water temperature doesn't go down right away when you yes. add a new element like pasta and especially if you're searing something you want the temperature of the pot to stay the same this looks so, so good by the way it yeah, looks so like good it? if you're hungry i apologize okay. i will say this pick up the cookbook um, you're getting both the lid and your five quart. This is going to be the final show, so if you'd like to order, don't miss it. I hope that you're inspired um, and that you that you take advantage of the opportunity to finally get cast iron that doesn't require you to treat it gingerly or to baby it, right? You don't have to, to do all the things that your grandmother and great-grandmother used to do. This is nonstick. Yeah, it's a little bit more lightweight than your traditional cast iron, but as you can see, so functional. You're even going at this nonstick with the metal utensil. Metal? Yeah, um, which no. is, imp you would have never done that before. No problem with the metal, absolutely. Here I can mix the meatballs, everything. So this is, I sauteed the, the pasta. Mm. It took in the flavor of the sauce this way because it finished cooking oh here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in the yes. studio. Yes, okay, let's, let me put some cheese. The cheese you put at the very end, okay? Make a little room there. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Yes. Okay, that's for Yum, you. Yum, that's plenty. Wait, wait, then I'll give you okay. a little, a, little, a meatball. Ooh. Can okay. we give everybody a look at that? All right, Yum. how do you like that? Doesn't that look delicious? I know. So, 
look again this is ready to be and I can pour it and you know as I told you I like hot just that when you put pasta or rice in a bowl or something you want it hot so if you put the bowl just like that on top of the boiling water always reserve the boiling water because you might need it a little bit to extend the sauce here oh. but also it, it warms up your now that's a nice tip absolutely yeah and I, I would have never known to do that but that's yes. a lovely tip yes okay yeah. so here oh we are oh my gosh it's so good it's so, so i delicious. am going to just family style because we are like a family here are we not yes indeed okay and we have a lot of people in you the know, control room that are looking by the way <laughs> uh give me an update jared tell me which one is the most popular is it the cobalt blue i really love the red i love the red too the red yeah. is so beautiful so this again even though we're we're talking about the mm, this is the skillet look it okay. just wipes clean wipes clean and it's good. And you know, oh my gosh, I, I, this is so wonderful. Good. <laughs> okay. Did they tell you about the hosts that have a good appetite? They told me. They told me. I said, I, said I want hosts with good appetite. Good for you. And they did just that. So here we are. Let me put the meatballs here. And family style, you bring to the table this, and it just looks wow. Huh? It looks wonderful, and it. And it tastes so divine. Like, I just love all the flavors and the garlic and cheese okay. and Parmesan. You know, I, so I, I, I always, uh, what's important is because these are so beautiful. Like, this is like a frame. Let me just clean it. Yes. And, and I can show you this. Look, I'll, sh I'll show them how the sauce just slides out. Yes. There is, doesn't stick on the bottom. Easy to clean. You know, sometimes sauce sticks around the top yes. and you have to there soak it <laughs> and all that right described. right well this is not the case I here. think I think you Just, make a great point right and why we we want this Dutch oven right because when you think about the traditional kind of cast iron pieces they did require quite a bit of extensive care and with our busy lifestyles we want to be able to prepare those classic and the iconic dishes that we've always loved but without oh, the time right. that it requires to to have to baby them so you made us this beautiful bowl of pasta look can you imagine that on the dinner table talk about just all the love and the conversations that you guys the connections that we make in this world where everybody has a phone chef lydia right and and yeah. everybody's head is in the phone constantly. I love that this brings kind of that that the family back together and around you, the table again. The bowls. We had yes. a, we didn't pass it as much. It was there, and we would each go, go in, in and, and, and get what you get what get, you get, want, get, right? Because it was always it? It was always plenty to go around too. And who got in first got the meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you this. What this uh, uh, pot this is is great for for braising. Okay, it perfect. Is the best because it has that uh, that intensity and depth that keeps the temperature constant and high. It doesn't drop down right away and nothing sticks to it. So let me give you a nice osobuco. That's another one of my... Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Okay, you don't have to eat the whole thing. Look at this. Okay, that's pretty extraordinary. <laughs> this is the also you did you did tell me to pace myself. I probably should have been a better <laughs> a better listener. So look look at well. Oh my gosh! I'll just have a little bite. I think we have um. Okay, so that's and, gorgeous. That look, could be on the cover of a magazine. Isn't that beautiful? And Can we you, let, let's hold it so that look at this. Look ahead. at that. How beautiful that is, everyone. Look at that. Oh my gosh! Isn't that nice. And this you can make in advance. You can start. Uh, is it, this recipe in your cookbook? It is. Uh, it is on my cookbook or hey, on, Tracy, on the website. Hey Tracy, maybe if I learn how to make this, I can get married. <laughs> oh, not right, don't you think? <laughs> I, I will vouch for you after I give you a few lessons. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I'll be happy to take them. <laughs> okay. Because right? I mean, that's pretty amazing. But now, go in here. Go ahead and okay. break it off. You'll see how how it will. Right, let me go well, in. Uh, yeah. Look. Here. It's so it's falling apart. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I know it's so tender it's falling apart it's here. It's falling apart. <laughs> look but at the this. question is here that you sear the meat, you put all the ingredients oh or the gosh, sauce look and at that. and you can put it in the oven to finish. And oh, you can put wow. it on with the lid so it cooks and inside. And the lid even goes in the oven yeah. to 500 degrees. You take degrees. the lid off because you want to reduce it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. And here who doesn't like <laughs> and ribs? And there's more. <laughs> ribs. 
You know, this, this. We all, I think we all love ribs, right? There you go. I braise the ribs the, the Italian way with beans, with carrots. Ooh. So you have, you have everything in oh, one. Oh, I love and, you that. Know, I tell you about one, one dish. Do you want to tear into that of one? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this with the beans, though. Look, look at this. Yeah, how beautiful is that? Okay. And so nice and tender, right? It just falls apart. Okay, and again, this is a, 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 a dish that you can cook in a, in, a, in this pot and just let it be there. Reheat it in the same pot. Oh, yummy. Finish it up in the oven. Mm. So, you know, it's so many, so versatile. And you can even go to dessert. Look at that. I have some poached pears right in, in, in that. Uh, uh, Okay, in so, here, so right here. here's what you need to know. If you'd love to shop with us for the Dutch oven, this is gonna be the final show of the visit. And so, wow, those are really beautiful. Oh my gosh, are those gorgeous. So sweet, I know that looks so fantastic. Just and it's like easy, this, right? But it cream. looks, you post them in here. We have some wine, some honey, some sugar, the pear, and you've got it. Yeah, it looks so beautiful though, mm -hmm. right? If you'd love to shop, red is the number one most popular choice. Don't forget the lid comes with it in both the pot and the lid. It's oven safe to 500 degrees. We also have cobalt blue and black. Don't miss your chance to order. Let's head over to our website at hsn.com. So it's innovation month for a couple more days. And if you're looking for some of the hottest electronics, then you'll want to go over to our website. And we actually have up to five flexible payments on many of our electronic items. So maybe there is a TV that you're looking for or a laptop or a little tablet or a cell phone or you know, earbuds, any type of electronics, we certainly have them available for you on our website at hsn.com. We have more with Chef Lydia coming up. Ready for this. Don't forget to grab the...